Hello friends, in this session we will discuss in detail that how we deal with the addresses of main memory, what is a direct mapping address scheme, how the main memory addresses are referred to and how a particular block is identified within a cache by looking at its address. Right. So let's just start with it. In direct mapping scheme, we basically divide the main memory address space into three parts. They are word, index and tag. So, they are listed like this, tag, index and word. So, if this is a total address, total main memory address, then the first part will represent its tag bits, next will represent its index bits and the next will represent its word bits. So, let's see what are these all. First of all, the word, word represents the number of bits required to identify a particular word within the block, right? To identify a particular block within a, to identify a particular word within the block and it is equivalent to log to number of words per block. So we can also say that this represents the size of the block in terms of the number of words it contains. So this is the main idea of uh, the word field. It is the total number of bits required to represent the size of a block when measured in terms of words. We'll see this with a greater clarity with the help of an example. Uh, let's move on to the next field first. Let me just first define all the fields and then we'll take care with, of all of these with the help of an example. So first of all, uh, let's define what is an index. It is the number of bits required to identify the block number in cache memory where a main memory block will be placed. So it is equivalent to log to number of blocks in cache. So this represents, this gives you the information about the number of blocks the cache contains. So this represents the cache size in terms of number of blocks it contains. Now let's take an example to take a greater clarity of this concept. We have let there be a given 16 word, 64 kilo word main memory and a 128 line cache. Then find the corresponding tag, index and word bits in direct mapping. So what do we have specified in this question? We have that the main memory uh, actually is of size 64 kilowatts. So the size of the main memory is given and the cache has 128 lines. That means the cache has actually 128 blocks. So we have 128 line cache implies 128 blocks in cache. Number of blocks in main memory if we calculate since we have the size of one block, right? So it is 64 kilowatts upon 16 words. It gets cancelled and we come out with 4 kilo which is equal to 2 into 2 to power 12. So number of blocks in main memory are 2 to power 12. Next, since main memory size was given to be as 64 kilowatts, so from there, what is what are the total number of bits that we need to represent the main memory size? That would be 2 to power 6 into 2 to power 10 for this kilo and that will be 2 to power 16 words. So we need total of 16 bits to represent all the addresses of main memory. So that means this total addressing bits would be 16. Now let's find the index bits. The index bits is equal to log to number of blocks in cache and we've been given that the number of blocks in cache are 128. So that means log to 2 to power 7 which is 7 log 2 2 which is equal to 1 by the concept that log A base A is 1. So we have it as 7. So the index bits are 7. So this is nothing, dot is nothing but multiplication sign. Similarly, if we calculate the word bits, it is equals to log to number of words per block, log to block size in words, which is given to as 16 words, right? So from here, we get the word bits as 4. So if I fill out these fields, I get the total bits of main memory as 16, word bits as 4, index bits as 7 and finally the tag bits can be cal uh, calculated by using the formula let's say total bits minus index bits minus word bits so that come out to be 5 so the final answer is this so the tag bits are 5 index bits are 7 
and the word bits are 4. So that's all for a direct mapping address scheme. In the next video, I'll be dealing with associative mapping and some other uh, mapping techniques. So see you all in the next video. Thank you.